Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Thierry, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're actually not going to talk about Digital Anarchy products. We're going to talk about fixing broken WAV files. Now, Digital Anarchy is a company that makes plugins for Adobe After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, Avid, uh, pretty much all the different video editing and visual effects apps out there. Uh, there's some pretty cool products, so check them out at digitalanarchy.com. But in this case, you know, because we do a lot of video plugins, we have to shoot a lot of test footage. And to that end, we have a Sony VS700, which is a great camera. And we have that connected to a Convergent Designs Odyssey 7Q+, Plus, which is what we use to record 4K. Now, the way the Odyssey records 4K is it records the frames as a series of DNG files, and then it has a WAV file for the audio as a sidecar file. And we ran into a problem with this in that one of the WAV files ended up being corrupted or just not having any audio. And you can see what a normal WAV file looks like with all the waveform data here. And so that's great, but what happened was, for whatever reason, when we imported the WAV file into Premiere or any other video editing app, we got nothing. If you play this back, there's no sound, there's nothing. However, if you play it back on the Odyssey, it played back fine. The file itself, if we go out to the Finder and look at the WAV file, you can see it's 287 megabytes, which means it seems like the data should be there. It's not like a 1K file, which would indicate that there was missing data, it never got recorded. Um, so the file size is appropriate. On the Odyssey, it played back fine. So we knew that the audio was there, but it wasn't showing up in any of the video editing apps that we tried it out in. Again, it should look like a normal waveform. And so we were really stumped as to what was going on. Now, it was recommended that we get, you know, file recovery software and all that, but that didn't really make sense since it seemed like you know, just based on the file size, that the data was actually there. And that it wasn't really a corrupted file in the sense of having been deleted or anything else. So, what to do? We tried playing it in a whole bunch of different host apps, whether it was, you know, just Windows Media Player, QuickTime, Premiere, Avid, none of it worked. But what we found was a free app called the VLC Media Player. And you can get this at videoland.org for free. And this is a media player just like the QuickTime Player or Windows Media Player. And so we tried importing it into VLC. Go back to Finder. And now this works on both Mac and PC. This is not just a Mac solution. I'm showing it on the Mac, obviously. But it, there's a PC version, there's a Linux version. Um, and so what happened is I could drop this in here and play it back and it played. You can't hear it because the screen capture utility I'm using doesn't support that playback. But if I play it back, it does indeed play. And so now, how do I convert that? So if I'm in VLC, I can open up my convert stream option. You may need to drag and drop the clip onto the area here where it says drop media here. I'm going to select audio CD, which will save it out, if I customize it, as a WAV file. So by default, it's just going to save it out as a WAV. And I can browse to where I want to save it. And this is an interview with a gal named Rebecca, so I'm just going to name it Rebecca. fixed and I'll save it to my documents folder and I'll click save and then I will save it out VLC will go through the process of converting it and because it could play it the audio was there which we knew and now I've saved it out to another WAV file and now if I come into Premiere and do an import, I can select my Rebecca fixed WAV file. 
And lo and behold, if I double click on it, there's a waveform. And Premiere plays it back just fine. I can hear it and everything. And so it's a very quick, easy, and free way of fixing these WAV files that, for whatever reason, may have lost their header or had some other minor corruption. But the data is all there. The audio is all there. It's just a matter of, like, how do you get it into these different video apps? It's really surprising that VLC was really the only app that allowed me to import it and then convert it. But once VLC converted it, I was able to import it into Premiere or pretty much any other editing app or media player like QuickTime or Windows Media. And it's a very fast and easy way of um, fixing the problem. So hopefully this helps you out. If you are a video editor or a visual effects artist, stop on by digitalanarchy.com and check out our plugins for Premiere and Avid and Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Just a little plug, but hopefully this solves your audio problem. Again, the VLC player can be found at videolan.org. And again, it's just a free download. And if you want to check out any of our plugins, you can go to digitalanarchy.com. And we've got lots of cool stuff there. So that's our little plug. But again, videolan.org, VLC media player. Great product for converting these broken WAV files. Thanks.